In the city of Basra lived a rich merchant named Orab Khan. Because of his riches he was well known amongst people. He even had a reputation of being a humble man. One day he was strolling on the streets of Basra to enjoy the calm on the streets when suddenly he heard a group of people chasing a boy yelling, Thief Thief. He noticed that the boy had a loaf of bread in his hand and was running towards him. Orab Khan quickly grabbed the boy's hand to which the boy struggles to get free saying let me go. He thought Orab was going to hand him to the people chasing him but Orab picked up the boy and hid him in a jute basket. When the group disperses to look for the boy Orab took him out and hiding him under his cloak enters a cafe. The ambience was so calm and the smell of food made the boy's mouth water. They sat and Orab told the waiter to bring the boy some good food. When the food came the boy was still struggling to understand and in his heart was ashamed of what he had done. Quietly sitting he looks at the food and that's when Orab Khan asked him to eat his lunch and if needed more than more will be ordered. Boy first hesitant then started eating. And Orab asks him his name. To which he replied Hakim. Boy thinks of something and asks Orab the same question and he said he was Orab Khan the merchant. And the boy's eyes spread wide open for everyone knew who Orab Khan was. Orab asked Hakim why he was stealing to which he replied he was very poor and his dog was hungry all the time and getting weak. His dog's name was Seem. And was the only one he had in his life as he grew up on streets. After saying that Hakim took a few bites and said he had found Seem on the streets too and one day when Hakim was sitting having his bread Seem came and sat beside him and licked his wounds. That's when Hakim realized he had heard his knee from the chase but the only one who cared about his wounds was Seem. So from that day onwards Hakim always fed Seem and they lived together on the streets taking care of each other be it rain or sunshine. After finishing his story Hakim asked Orab how he made his riches. Orab thought for a moment and said if he promises not to steal again Orab will tell him the secret. The boy eager to learn about the great merchant's ways agrees to his condition. Then Orab said he wasn't rich from the beginning in fact after. His father died Orab did every hard labor he could find. He would roam the streets day and night looking for a day's work even and that went on for a while till one day he decided to change his life. That's when Orab took the first ship that left the port. The ship sailed for months with other traders and merchants on board till there came a point they ran out of food. With no land seen anywhere. Near they didn't know what to do and they kept getting weaker. When suddenly they saw an island with trees. Thinking the trees must bear fruits they decided to get to the island. When they reached the island they were disheartened to find out there were no fruits. Now weak and cold they decided to burn some trees to fight the cold. When they burned trees all of a sudden the whole island moved. And that's when Orab Khan saw they were not on an island. They were on a big whale and the trees had grown on top of it. The whale dived deep into the water to destroy the fire and took Orab underwater with it. But Orab struggles and came up on the surface holding on to a wooden log he had found floating near him. He looked around but sadly he found the ship had left without him. Now in the middle of the ocean alone Orab didn't lose hope and kept swimming till he finally comes to another island. So happy and relieved Orab took a deep breath and gazed through the island. Smelling life again the air and calm were truly a blessing. The natives were kind people and took good care of him. A few months went by and Orab taught the natives how to grow more food on the island. Orab treated the island as his second home and the king was happy too. One day Orab woke up from loud sounds and people told him that a strange supernatural creature who becomes both visible and invisible took the king's horse. Orab not wasting another moment told the king he would go and bring the horse back. The king gladly approves and taught Orab to whistle like him so it becomes easier to find the horse. Since the horse responded to the king's whistle only, Orab gathered his things for the journey up the haunted mountain with his bow and arrow with food and water and then begins his journey. Few days later Orab reaches the haunted mountain. The air was filled with stench and death. Carcasses were lying everywhere and the silence was eerie. Orab kept searching for the horse till he heard the voice of the unknown creature and that's when Orab whistles. Upon hearing that the horse also neighs aloud. The creature now enraged becomes visible to face Orab Khan. It was in a human form and had wings with a shiny spear. The creature would throw a spear and another spear would replace it. Orab had to be very careful so he knew he had only one chance to finish the creature and that was to hit it on the right spot. So Orab dodging the creature's attacks takes aim and throws his arrow which pierces right through the creature's heart and with a gut-wrenching scream the creature falls from the mountain. The horse was shackled but was grateful to Orab for releasing him. 
This was a day of such victory for Orab Khan for he knew the king would be very happy with him. Orab fed the horse and gave water to gain strength and then he rode the horse down the mountain straight to the king's palace. King was so happy he rewarded Orab with a chest of gold coins and raised his rank. Orab worked hard to help the natives of the island excel in life. One day the ship that had left without Orab comes to the island and Orab showed desire to leave and go back home. The king approves and Orab leaves the island. After telling his story Orab Khan stopped and looked at Hakim who still hadn't finished his meal for he was so taken by the adventures of Orab Khan. So he said to the boy well you see Hakim my riches came from hard work and that's the secret of my wealth. Hakim was in awe. He asked about what Orab did with his wealth after he returned home. Orab said he lived a leisurely life for a few months till he got bored and decided to go on another voyage. The boy nearly jumped from his chair but then humbly asked Orab if he would tell him about his second voyage. To which Orab smiled at Hakim and nodded. Hakim thanked Orab and promised to return to the cafe the next day with Seem to know about the next voyage. Dear viewers if you liked Orab's adventures, please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next adventure episode of Orab Khan the Rich Merchant. Thank you for watching.